Hi, I'm Ellie and welcome to my channel. Today I have a great big Woolworths weekly shopping haul to share with you. Today is Friday, uh, 27th of January. We had Australia Day yesterday. Um, I'm heading back to work on Monday and Kale starts school on Wednesday. So this is a getting back to normal uh, getting back to the things we need for work, getting sorted out. Uh, once I go back to work, I'm pretty much going to be on my own in the office and then hitting busy season just after that. So we needed to be repaired. I needed to stock up on a few things. I'm not going to have as much time at home to prepare meals. So we've gone for some tried and trusty favourites. But this is what we have now. I was quite surprised this week. Um, I've spent a, a bit extra because there were things that have been out of stock for a while that I have been able to get. So I'll show you those as I get to them. We are a family of three, my husband, myself, a 13 year old son, and we have two German Shepherd doggies as well. Uh, I do live in uh, remote WA. I am about 800 kilometers from Perth. So our local Woolies, when they don't have stuff, we um, just have to go without. Um, there are a couple of RGAs, but things are super, super expensive. So we do the best we can, and I do tend to buy as many specials and clearance items as what I can find. So here is what we have. Now to start with, we're back to school. So Kale has some... Um, white seedless grapes now there are a few missing from the bag because we did a munch on a few of those they were six dollars ninety a kilo so i got just under a kilo for six dollars forty five but that will do in his lunchbox he tends to make himself a ham and cheese sandwich um, and he will have cukes or snow peas or um baby carrots um beans, grapes, any of that kind of stuff that travels really well in his lunchbox. So he'll tend to have that with some dried fruit and things as well. So um, yeah, grapes will be good for him. They're a little bit expensive, but we'll go through them. Now, um, we've been having a drum with dog food, but it looks like we are back in the house. So this is the normal three kilo dog food that we normally get. I got two of the meat and vegetable and one of the chicken and rice today. They were $5.45 each. So I've spent $10.90 on the beef and veg and the $5.45 on the chicken and rice. I do still have some left, but because this shop is going to be last for just over a week because I won't get to the shops again until next Saturday afternoon late. Um, so I've had to put some things aside just in case I can't get any. And I have still got some dog food in the fridge, but I got the three to make sure we've got that extra one to get me through till early the following week if I need to. So we've got those. Um, now Kale still has some Nutri-Grain left in the cupboard. So I got did get the two litre bottle today. Now it's got a little bit of a dent in the corner. That's happened in transit once the guy has packed our bags. He jammed everything into the bags today, which was a bit of a bugger. But um, he's really fast at the checkout. So we kind of, you know, you deal with that. I don't know, do you guys find... Um, like a regular that you see that serves you really well or fast or packs your groceries good or something like that. We've got a few here, but more the fact that we've got the ones that we avoid. So the guy I went through today was available. He zoomed through quite quickly, but he does tend to shove things in the bag. So we every now and then get a few little dents like that, but that's okay. Two litres of milk for $4.85. Now the Browns yogurts, the one kilos, were actually on special. So they're normally $6.00. They were four dollars eighty today, so I got the Greek style the kilo for me, and I also got the mango and passion fruit one kilo. My husband does like that one. Uh, I'm not sure if Kay will try that; he might do. I got two of the light sour cream. I have got um, markets again on Sunday. I did have a big market yesterday, Australia Day, and it was just awesome. It was really, really good. Uh, I've got a market again on Sunday and then the next one will be the following Saturday morning. So that'll be before I get a chance to shop again. So I've got two of these, one for Sunday, one for next Saturday. They're $2.80 each. Now the West Gold Butter, this is still cheaper than the Woolies brand butter. They're $5 each for the 400 grams. I didn't have any salted today, just the unsalted. So I've got two of those. So we'll be able to pop those in the fridge kale's um gold flavored milk which is the smooth caramel white chocolate he loves this one 
that wasn't on special today, $3.40, but he came with me today, as you'll tell by some of the snacks. He came with me today, so he grabbed one of those. He'll probably polish that off shortly when we're finished filming. I got a packet of the Australian Shave Parmesan, the Woolworths, 250 grams for $6. Um, a couple of times while I was home on leave, I made a um, like a carbonara, which you obviously cook your bacon until it's nice and crispy cook your spaghetti in a pot until it's almost cooked so because it does cook a little bit once you put all the other stuff in it um so it's almost almost cooked then stir your bacon through and the sauce i make is egg thickened cream and parmesan cheese and stir that through with the pot turned off so you turn the pot off the stove so the residual heat of the pasta actually cooks your sauce and then uh lashings of fresh cracked pepper on the top so we will do that as a really really quick tasty like we're running late kind of thing so pretty much as fast as you can cook the spaghetti um i can do that and i did do that so i'm out of parmesan almost so i've got one another one of those um I've got a greek style feta because we'll have greek salad again no doubt um, I'll see if I can find some pictures of what we've been having and um, insert them up the top here as well. So if I can, because I know I'm pretty sure I've got one with a Greek salad made up. Uh, Kale needed his cheese slices. I do still have a piece of ham in the fridge. So I didn't need to buy ham, but I did need to buy the cheese slices. This is a 500 grams. It's $8.50, but it's got two little seal packets in there. Possibly that will get him through this week and next week because he's only got a part week this week but it also depends whether he jumps in on the couple of days before he goes back to school and eats this kind of stuff so we'll just see how we go now the little entertainers cheeses um i got two of the classic blue we've been using this blue to make um our creamy sauce to go with pork so you cook a pork steak until it's like barely cooked and that the residual heat um cook it like while you're resting it in the pan and then do i've been doing for the two of us i've been doing only half a block of blue cheese so you don't need to use very much pop it in a saucepan that's on sort of medium with this diced up really quite small stir it around until it's almost melted and then add maybe three or four tablespoons of thickened cream you certainly don't need very much and just stir it continuously until this dissolves in the cream and it will actually thicken as well. And then as soon as it's to the consistency that you like, you just spoon a little bit over your pork and it's delicious. So I think I might've mentioned that in a previous video as well, but it's become like a bit of a new favorite for us and just the steamed beans, steamed broccoli with it as well, makes a really tasty dinner. So we've got that then i did get another big block of cheese because we've been going through a lot of cheese while we've been home hubby's been having veggie martin cheese on like sayos or vada wheats or something the sayos i got the woolies ones last week and they're gone already so um that was definitely a good one and i'll also take cheese with green apples and nut butter as a like morning snack as well to work so I've got that one now chicken i did need chicken this week and holy dooly this has gone up to 13 dollars a kilo for the bulk packs so i think well, i'm going to get two full meals out of this one but it's 17 dollars 39 probably going to do um a chicken and leek kind of vegetable thing um with possibly some rice only because i did get some of that today as well so we'll see how we go with that but there's a couple of different options i've got that aren't going to take too long and we'll just work out which ones because i can do a meal and it'll i will have leftovers for the following night and the mercy valley um i've got the little pickled onion cheese because they were three for twelve dollars if you bought all these but they have shown up on my um receipt a little bit differently and i think the discount hasn't come off one so I'll have to be careful of that next time I'm in the shop. You know how they have those little stickers and they say three for, well, this said three for 12 and it was on all sorts of little baskets. I'm thinking they put the wrong one in the basket, but I didn't double check it. So that's on me. And I probably have done that before too. I just can't remember. Uh, wanted some crumb fish and there was just 
barely anything on the shelf. So we've ended up with this one. This is a Woolies one. The crumb fish fillets. It's 425 grams. It's got six pieces in there. It was $4.40. It's not the perfect one that I like to get, but I'm far out. My family eat it. So for the sake of putting it in the freezer, I got the Southern style crumbed bites. I don't mind them. My husband likes them. Kale doesn't. Because when you cook them, I think they're designed to be deep fried like quite a lot. And I just did them in the air fryer. And because the crumb's so thick, it's still kind of a little bit moist right near the fish, even though the fish is cooked. And he just didn't like the texture. So it's a bit sad because there's a, still like more than half a packet in the freezer. I'll eat them, but I just don't eat fish like that very often. So um, I got him these ones just so there's some in the freezer. Now, uh, these Paul's yogurts, there's 650 gram tubs in here. So these are the bigger ones, but these were just the chocolate custard, the snack pack. Um, so Kale's got those. They were $6.50 though. I think they were only a dollar or a dollar twenty off today. But I thought, well, they'll be like an after school snack or something for him or even for him to have before we um like while he's at home before he goes back to school and, and hubby and i are both at work so i've got some beef sausages now these um this one's got a best before date of the 5th of feb and the other one's the 9th of feb so these were the beef sausages and um the herb and garlic ones so these are the 9th which is still like still 10 days away but I got both of them because I like to have things in the freezer or in the fridge if we're doing a quick meal and say hubby and I are having like the blue cheese sauce on something or making something, um, even some sam red salmon out of the freezer because Kale's not really a fan of that. If he wants to have sausages with his salad, then I've got them to do or I can do a curry sausages or even... Um, Sausage with onion gravy and mashed potato is my hubby does really enjoy that It's not that healthy, but if I'm in a hurry and I need to do something like that. That's what we'll end up having Needed some more bacon because I used Almost the last bit doing our carbonara the other day. So the kilo of shortcut bacon There weren't many options of this on the shelf either and I try not to buy the one with the rind on it Because you end up wasting so much so this was $10.25, so I got that one. Um, and then I needed some cold meat. One of my lunches this week is, they call them um, a turkey wrap, but instead of using a multi-grain wrap, you actually roll it up in a lettuce leaf. So you have a lettuce leaf with some turkey, some cheese, some tomato. I'm not sure if it's cucumber or avocado. And you kind of roll them all up and eat them like that but because I'm going to be packing my lunches to take to work I just thought I would do a container with some lettuce and cherry tomatoes and some of this and cheese and cucumber maybe capsicum things like that just to sort of have a pick out for a salad for lunch so I got one of those and I got the prosciutto as well because I quite like that and they were two for twelve dollars but the San Marino stuff is a little bit more expensive, but it is really taste, tasty, excuse me. So we got that one. Um, I got a 500 grams of mint. So even this has gone up with $7 for 500 grams. But um, I've got this in there to either do a savory mince or even a taco salad. So a taco salad, it will be kidney beans and mints. Um, cook it up with a, the flavor is to have a, they call it Mexi Go Go, which is a Mexican spice. So you cook that up and we have it on top of crunched up corn chips that I've still got in the pantry with lettuce and cucumber, tomato, shredded cheese, and it's a quick and easy meal. And I can get two meals for the three of us out of that half a kilo of mince. So if I need to cook one up and then have it in the fridge, then I've only got to heat that up for a quick meal as well. Because going back to school... You know, we're getting back into that routine. I don't really know what this week's going to pan out to be. So we've got that. Um, and some more thickened cream because I've been having this in my smoothies. But also, obviously, with carbonara and things as well. I've used up what I had. So 600 mils was $4.20. Did get that. I'll just scoot around the other side of the camera. 
I did let you know the other day that I couldn't get the nappy sand gold. Well, it was in on the shelf and the special was about to expire. So I got the two kilos. This was half price. I got the two kilos for $16. And I'm, there's no way in the world I'm going to get to this anytime soon. But I've grabbed it to put in the bottom of the laundry cupboard. So it is there because I'm thinking when I need it next, I'm going to be in the middle of my busy season and only getting to Woolies at like four o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. And by then when Woolies closes at five here, there's not much left. So um, things like that, I will grab and pop into the cupboard as I see them over the next few weeks so that we are good to go uh, when it gets crazy. Now back to school. My son saw these, he wanted a new water bottle. We did go to the surf shop today and buy him a billabong bag that with a pencil case that kind of matches. So he's all good to go now. Everything else has already been organized, but he saw this one, it's a 700 ml bottle and it's got, it's got the little ring top as well, but you just push it here and it opens to drink out of. So it's got no straws or anything like that. And then it does just clip closed if I get my hands right, trying to do it with one hand. Um, but that's what he wanted. So he was wrapped with that. And they were $7.50. This is a decor brand. And all that stuff was half price in Woolies still. Obviously going back to school. So $7.50, I thought that was quite a good value for that. Um, hubby needed some more shampoo. And he does like this turning point two in one. It's actually probably the cheapest one that you can buy, but he really likes it. It's 400 mils and it's $3. And because it's two in one, yeah, in and go. And he's quite happy with that. Um, then I did need some, what are these ones? This was the only option I had, but I did need some more light globes. These are the little bayonet cap ones. Um, the cool white is what we use in the lights down in the, bedrooms down the other end of the house um, and the toilets and stuff like that so I did need these ones again and that was all that they had and so they were $10.50 I'm not sure if that's a good value or not but we needed them so I just had to get them because that's what they had um, the clinical Rexona stuff was all half price so I got this one for my hubby this is a street three times stronger this is a basic antiperspirant deodorant so it's a 96 hour one but it smells really nice and he likes this one so when they're half price I do grab them because that was five dollars fifty so these are going up as well and I won't pay full price for those so when they're half price we grab one and I got went to the school section and got one of these um, lecture books now it is the one with the like dividers and pockets and stuff like that in them I didn't really need the pockets but the pages are red lined and I use these books for writing down my stock and sales and things when I'm at the market so I got one of those it was 20 or uh, 20 30 40 percent off something like that uh, it was only $3.90 and that's got lots of pages in there. So I grabbed one of those. The two-minute noodles I got the other day are just about all gone, being school holidays. So, and the last probably three months, maybe four months, every time I've gone to buy the beef Maggi noodles when they've been on special, the shelf's been bare. There's only been the whole grain chicken or the oriental ones or something like that like they're the only ones that have been left on the shelf or the sparty ones so these were two for eight dollars today which instead of five dollars each so it's not much of a discount but i haven't seen them so i've got those just to stick in the pantry so we've got them for those nights when the season gets busy I'm not home for tea or I was planning on being home for tea and then I get waylaid by two hours and don't get home till eight or nine o'clock at night. The boys have got something where they can just cook up something quickly if they need to or if that's what they decide they want to have. You know, in the big scheme of things, it doesn't matter. It's only one night's dinner. So we've got those just to pop in the cupboard. And then here we are for school again. Kale likes sultanas and dried fruit and things. So we've got the Woolworths sultanas, one kilo for $5. We've got the apple slices. This is 200 grams for $3.84. And that's just their normal price for those. And <laughs> I think for the third week in a row, 
These veggie deli crisp smoky barbecue were still on clearance. They still had stock less than instead of six dollars, they're only two dollars ninety five. I really like them, so I think I'm going to probably put them in um, little containers and take some of those to work um, as like a morning snack with a cuppa because I think that'll be really good and I think that'll be really satisfying as well. And for the first time in forever, uh, they've actually had the forty percent less sodium chips multi-packs in stock so i got two of these um they were two for seven dollars today uh so i did get two of them so they can go in the cupboard for kale he'll have those after school weekends or what have you but it's honestly it's been ages since i've been able to get them and he's got his caramel chocolate this is the 180 gram block for three dollars 85 and also the 12 bites were still on clearance for Two dollars a packet so he got those so that's his little sneaky treats like i said normally i would only get one or the other but he was there so we ended up with both today um for my lunch bag as well these table of plenty mini rice cakes these are the salted caramel so they've got salted caramel chocolate on one side they're only about i don't know this size they're little tiny ones um and there's 17 calories per cake so they're quite small but to have two of those with a cuppa is very, very satisfying. Um, and I'll quite often take this container and just put it in a like one container in my lunch bag. Um, I don't have them every day, but if I need them, then I can just whip out a couple, make a, make a coffee, and, um, and I'm all right. I'm good to go. Because that's what will happen when the season gets busy. The season gets busy, I, I just can't leave my desk. Um, and I can work... Usually not more than 12 hours, but 12 hours when you're sitting on your bum, barely got time to go to the toilet, you don't get a chance to go and sit down and have lunch. You just eat on eat on the run. Now, the Pop-Tarts, these were the cookies and frosted cookies and cream. They were on clearance from $7 down to $4.97. So I've got these. Kay, I wanted to try them, and I'm like, well, they're on, they're on clearance. They're on special. Give them a go. See if you like them. So we did get those and then I'm just checking his mini Oreos. These are the golden ones, which is just the, I guess they're vanilla or are they caramel? I'm not really sure. I haven't had them. Um, I'm only ever used to having the original Oreos, but these ones, he wanted these for his lunchbox this week and next week. There's 10 bags in here, so that'll do him for a while. And they were on special for $3.50. My husband had the last spaghetti on toast the other day, so these were on special for $1.50 a can. These are the Heinz spaghetti, the one for two, which is just like, um, I mean, it says the one for two, but I think hubby has a whole can of this with his toast for brekkie. They're only $1.50 each, so I just got a couple. I needed some more coconut oil, because if I'm having a keto coffee on the run out the door, then I need coconut oil for that. Um, and apologies for my dog. There are kids walking past. I can. They're either on a. They're either on a scooter or a bike, so I can hear them. And my dogs want to go play. And the Rassoni was still on clearance this week, a dollar fifty, for uh, this five hundred gram packet. And like I said, I made this up. It's a cross between like rice and pasta, really, because it's a little tiny pasta. But when I made the chicken and leek um, creamy vegetable pie stuff the other day, or like a, yeah, it wasn't a pie because it didn't have pastry on it, but just made it up like a bit of a stew. And I cooked some of this and we had that and it was so nice. So if I need to do meals for just my husband to heat up for him and Kale to have one of those nights when I'm not home for work, um, they're more than capable of cooking that because you just cook it like you cook pasta. They can just heat up the chicken and veggie stuff and then they've got a decent meal. That's if uh, he's not stuck at work too because he's taking on a new role in the next month as well. So the next few months for us are really up in the air. We don't really know how we're going to make things work. We're just going to take it week by week and see what happens. Then um, almond spread. Like I said, I will quite often take a snack with... Some green apples and tasty cheese and almond spread as a morning tea. Uh, so I got some more of this. It was $5.70 for 250 grams. 
It wasn't on special, but this was the best value that they had on the shelf today. Um, the last few jars of almond and nut spread I've actually got out of my subscription boxes. Like the Goodness Me box is a great one for getting things out of that. Um, and I've got one to open it. I'm not sure what's in it. So knowing my luck, it's probably got something like this in there. But I go through it anyway. So, um, so that's really good. And also, there's a smoothie I have that has chocolate protein powder and nut butter um, and almond milk and, and stuff in it. So it's kind of like a chocolate peanut, like chocolate nutty kind of shape. So that will probably go into that too. And I'm being a little bit ambitious, but I am still home for a couple of days pending markets on Sunday. And I wanted to make some shortbread, just some basic, basic shortbread. And when I was growing up, we used to have the plain shortbread with the ice magic drizzled over the top of it. And it kind of sets and you could have chocolate squiggles on top of your shortbread. I don't know why that came to me today while I was walking around Woolies, but I got this chalk mint one because Kale really likes mint, but I'm not sure whether I should have just stuck with the plain chocolate. So I'm going to try that, but regardless, otherwise I reckon he'll still have that on ice cream if I don't do that. But that was um, just something that came to me while I was walking around today. That was $3. Uh, and then the whole egg mayo, these were on special as well. These squeezy bottles were actually cheaper than the bigger bottles today. Uh, so that's $4 and I use that in my samples for the market. So the spice blends that Flavorista have are certified gluten free, they're nut free, they don't have any fillers and preservatives and all that nasty stuff in them. And I make dips for people to try them. So I use the sour cream, <coughs> excuse me. I use the sour cream with a little bit of whole egg mayo and some of the spice blend and it makes the best dip and honestly there's like a dozen different varieties that you can make awesome dips with so when these are on special i chuck them in the cupboard because even though i only use a little bit i find that i always seem to run out when i'm needing to go to a market so i try and always have one of these in the pantry as a spare the bottles are good too but when you can buy the squeezy ones and they're cheaper you can just squirt a little bit in and it's all good i did get some crisp bread that will possibly be a, just like the cover, a ham and cheese cracker uh, for lunch. So with sunflower, pumpkin, linseed and poppy seeds, these were on clearance for $4. They are really thick and crunchy and they are really like a big thick bit of bread. So you bite into it and they don't shatter like some of the really thin crisp breads. I have had them before. So I've got those and then the Vita Wheat. So I've been taking these to work with my meat and sellers as well but then like I said hubby's discovered these with veggie martin cheese on which is what I used to have when I was at school um they just don't have the little holes in them anymore for you to like squirt out the veggie mart and butter worms I know that sounds disgusting but if you if you know you know you either had them or you didn't so they were three dollars today so I got that one and then the clearance in the health food aisle this was just a little collagen high protein gluten-free bar it's a belgian chocolate and it was only 49 cents so it was 4.95 marked down to 49 cents so i just grabbed one because you know i'll just chuck it in my lunch bag i don't have many bars and things left i've still got some tiger nuts left but i didn't have many bars left so i'll probably just accumulate some of those and chuck them in my bag so i've got a selection if i get stuck at work um milk Haru, these are just the woolies brand ones over dollar 70 and Kale likes these as much as the Arnott's ones, and the Arnott's ones are like a huge price, um, like three dollars fifty or something crazy like that. So these ones, he's more than happy with those. Um, some dried apricots because this just goes with his lunch. Uh, but now that we've got all these, that's half a kilo for six dollars. But now that we've got them all, we won't need to get them for quite a while. Like they will certainly do him. Um, some baby spinach, just 120 grams. This is just the $3 bag. I have that in smoothies. I'll have it with eggs for breakfast. Um, Kale will just have a handful of it. If we're doing salad for tea, he quite likes his baby spinach to eat. But my husband's not a fan. So I just got that one. Odd bunch of carrots. These were quite big today. As you can see, they're quite enormous. This is a kilo bag. 
Um, but they were only 80 cents and I got them just so we've got carrots but I can cut some up for Kale's lunch. And then he found the Snackables ones. So we've got these as well. Um, now these, where did I put these? These are, I can't find them on my list, but I know I've got them. Here they are, snacking carrots, $3. So um, they are a little bit more expensive, but if he's packing his lunch on his own, he'll just grab those if he's in a hurry. Uh, avocados weren't great today, but I got the little ones. These are the odd bunch ones. Sometimes the skins on them look a bit dodgy, but inside they're actually okay. These were one kilo and they were $7.90, but like there's seven in there, which is still not a bad value. I'm the only one that really eats them. And you can usually go through and find a couple of softer ones to eat now and the other ones keep in the fridge for later. So I'll either have that, um, one of my lunches or dinners, I'm not sure. It's like a chicken, feta and avocado salad. I won't tend to turn the avocado to work for lunch but I will have it with tea or we'd have it with eggs for breakfast uh, so they will they will work out fine I've got a couple of zucchinis they were only quite small today but I got just the standard ones like this they were $1.50 each but they were quite a good quality so I'm happy with those and they'll stay in the fridge I think if I don't even use them this week they'll still be all right for next week but the surprising thing was, I was very excited to see these. The Odd Bunch Tasty Tomatoes are back. One kilo bags and they are $4.50. So it's about half price what we were paying a few months ago. So I got that one because we will have lots of salads. And if we do, then they'll definitely be the goer. I've got a whole iceberg lettuce here, but it's actually still got all the outer leaves on it. I didn't peel it off because I was in a hurry in the shop, but it's really heavy. Um, it's $3.90, so I know that that'll be a nice one in under there. Usually I try and take the leaves off and things if I can. I'm just that. I've got things stacked all over each other because we're kind of um, loaded up. Let me scoot down so I can show you. But, yeah, I've got things piled all over the place at the minute. Okay, so cucumber, continental cucumber. I've got one of those. I've still got some left from last week. Um... $2.90, there were no odd bunch ones to be found, so I just got the one. Kale wanted the bean shoots. These are used by the 30th, which is only a few days away, so I've told him you'll have to eat those over the weekend. Otherwise, these do start to go soft. Um, $2.40, but I'm sure he will eat them. We got some more well, strawberries. These are Albany, so these are local, fairly local strawberries to us, really, or local, uh, local-ish. It's still about five hours away, but um, they are local South WA strawberries. Uh, $3.50. Kale's kicks, because, yeah, we're back to school, and this is what you're packing his lunch. $3. Now, the eggs today was, oh, the shelf was just about there. So what I ended up doing is I haven't seen these before. These are the Woolworths cage-free eggs, 18 pack. It's 900 grams for $6.30. Um, but some of the other eggs, they were only a dozen, and they were up to $8.90 for a dozen. So I bit the bullet. I've got these. If Kale has French toast for breakfast, these smaller eggs tend to do him anyway. He'll have a small egg with some milk, um, Make two or three pieces of French toast and, you know, that'll be fine. Those kind of eggs probably get two thick pieces, but, you know, that'll be fine. That'll get us through. He did want some waffles today. So these were on special, the five pack for $5. They didn't have any um, fruit toast on special today, so that's what he's got. So I'm expecting we'll probably need to go and get some more bread, probably before he even goes back to school. Because uh, today's Friday, so there's still you know, another five days before he goes back to school. So we'll probably get fresh bread before he starts. This is an 800 gram loaf for $3.50. So that's my shop. And, yeah, here's the kicker. $351.34. It is a big one. But there are things in here that I'm just stocking the pantry with. There's more expensive things as well. But... I knew we'd be a hundred dollars or so over our budget and we are but um yeah i'm definitely going back to work on monday because i need to 
And I saved a total because of our specials and things, a total of $68.30. The points I collect to just this shop alone are $2,000. So I automat oh, sorry, 2,000 points. So I automatically earned that $10 to shop for Christmas. I think I've got $30 saved up for Christmas already. I've still got those tableware credits, but there's only 19. There's not enough to buy anything with them. So they will just sit there. But yeah, my total points today because of the rewards extra was 2,000 and I don't have any credits or anything because I still haven't used those black beans from last week. I'm thinking I might put them into maybe our taco mints, might use black beans instead of kidney beans. We'll just see how that goes. But yeah, this is what I've got. It's a real biggie. Thanks for sticking with me. If you have, I do have some more subscription boxes that I'll be opening. I'm going to try and get a week in advance for all my filming and things now, now that I'm going back to work and getting busy. So hopefully I can do that for you. Also coming into the end of January, I will be doing an empties video, which is showing you the skincare products and makeup products that I've received in subscription boxes. Once I've used them in the entirety, I can give you my opinion rather than a first impression. So if that interests you, I have got my first one of those coming up in the next week or so. So in the meantime, I hope you're having a great day. Take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye.